require a pristine habitat to survive in the wild. So they need really cold, clear, oxygen-rich water. And over a long period of time, they've developed certain features to help them survive in that really specific habitat. So today we are going to transform into a trout to see what kind of features they have that help them to survive in that habitat. Because as we know, fish live underwater. So if I were to try and live in their habitat, I would not do very well there. I've got all these fingers, they're not very good for swimming. I am not very streamlined to swim through water. So let's check out some of those features that trout have. To the first thing that I needed to start my transformation into a brook trout is a trout head. So the head is covered in scales which have a coating of mucus on them to make me really slick and fast as I'm swimming through the water. The head is also where we have a lot of our trout senses, so things that are going to help me navigate through the new habitat underwater. So. Without any eyeballs, I would be bumping into things. Even with human eyeballs, really, I would be bumping into things. So, first step is we've got to add some eyeballs on here. Where do they go? Okay, great. Now we can see. So, the interesting thing about my new eyeballs is that they are on the side of my head, which means I have a really wide field of vision. So each eyeball can see all the way over to the side, so almost slightly behind me, which is going to make it really easy for me to escape from predators and find food when I'm searching. The other thing that's going to be helpful for finding food is my nares. So if I was a human, I would be pointing at my nostrils, but as a trout we call them nares and they're very sensitive to smells to help me navigate. Uh, another thing that trout do when they grow up is they swim out to the ocean and they come back to their home river and a lot of that is based on smell so they have to have really really sensitive um, senses of smell. Okay, the other thing that's going to help me is my Operculum. These cover the gills, which are where I take in water and absorb oxygen out of the water. Okay, so the next thing that I've added on my transformation to be a trout is this beautiful, shiny, shimmery, scaly body. This is going to make me much more aerodynamic and help me flow through the water very quickly. Um, it's also going to help me track down my food as I can use my large trout mouth as well to capture that prey. And the one thing that's going to make it very difficult, as I currently am, is I don't have any way of moving other than kind of flopping my body around. So, okay. I now have lots of fins to make me very stable and go very fast. So on my back, you'll see the dorsal fin. This is the one that's going to help me stay stable and make sure that I'm going straight and I'm not tipping and turning in all the currents of the water. We also have these fins up here, the pectoral fins, which are going to help me swim and steer very quickly as will the pelvic fins down below. And then I would also have another fin even further down called the ventral fin. And this is similar to the dorsal fin where it would help me to stay stable and steer straight. And in males, that fin is also used to help fertilize the eggs. Okay, so the last thing that I needed to fully make my transformation into a trout is my caudal fin and caudal peduncle. So the caudal peduncle is this wrist-like tail which helps my caudal fin or tail fin to really have a lot of range of motion in how it can bend and propel me forward as I swim through the water. It's gonna give me a lot of power to move forward. So, 
I am now much better equipped at living in a stream habitat than when I was a person with fingers where I couldn't really get a good grip on that water to propel myself forward. I would have had a really hard time breathing underwater. I now have gills and I've got really great eyesight to be able to find food and escape predators and yeah, I think I'm gonna do well under here.